اعوذبلشیطانجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سور یوسف جوسف چیپٹر نمبر ٹویلف ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موس گریشیس دا موس مرسیفل الف لام را دیز آر ورسز فرام دا کلیئر بک وی ہیو سینڈ ڈاؤن دا قرآن ان عربک سو دیٹ یو مے انڈرسٹینڈ We recount to you the best of narratives in revealing this Quran to you, even though you were unaware of it before it came. When you, Yusuf told his father, My father, I dreamt of eleven stars and the sun and moon. I saw them prostrate themselves before me. He replied, My son, do not relate your dreams to your brothers. lest they plot evil against you. Shaitan is the sworn enemy of man. You shall be chosen by your Lord, and he will impart to you some understanding of the inner meaning of events. He will bestow the full measure of his blessings upon you and upon the house of Jacob, even as he formerly bestowed it in his full measure upon your forefathers Abraham and Isaac <coughs> truly your sustainer is all knowing and wise surely in Yusuf and his brothers there are signs for the inquirers they said to each other surely Yusuf and his brother Benjamin are dearer to our father than ourselves although we are a band Truly, our father is clearly mistaken. Therefore, let us put Yusuf to death or cast him away to some far off land so that our father's attention should turn only to us and you can thereafter become a righteous people. One of them said, Do not kill Yusuf, but if you must do something, Cast him into the bottom of a well. Some of the travelers will pick him up. They said to their father, Why do you not trust us with Yusuf? We are indeed his well-wishers. <coughs> Send him with us tomorrow, so that he may play and enjoy himself. We will look after him. Yaqub said, It would indeed grieve me. If you took him away with you, and I fear lest the wolf should devour him while you are off your guard. They said, Surely, if the wolf devoured him while we were a strong party, we would indeed be great losers. And so, when they went away with him, they decided to cast him into the dark depths of a well. Then we reveal to him our will. You shall one day tell them of this deed of theirs. When they do not realize who you are, and at nightfall they came to their father, weeping. They said, Father, we went off racing and left Yusuf with our belongings, and the wolf devoured him. But you will not believe us, even though we are telling the truth. And they showed him their brother's shirt stained with false blood. No, he cried, your souls have tempted you to do something evil, but it is best to be patient. Allah alone can help me bear the loss you speak of. And there came a caravan of travelers, and they sent their water drawer to draw water from the well. He let down his bucket into the well, and he exclaimed, Oh, what a lucky find! Here is a boy. They hid him like a piece of merchandise. But Allah knew well what they hid. Later they sold him for a paltry sum, a few pieces of silver, dirhams. So little did they value him. 
the egyptian who brought him said to his wife law jim honorably he may prove a benefit to us or we may even adopt him as our son thus we established yusuf in the land so that we might teach him the true meaning of events allah has power over all things however most people do not know this and when he reached maturity we bestowed on him right judgment and knowledge thus we reward those who do good however the woman in whose house he lived wanted to seduce him one day she bolted the doors and said come he replied allah forbid truly your husband is my master and has treated me honorably wrong doer certainly never prosper she started towards him and he would have succumbed to her if he had not seen a sign from his lord we did this in order to keep evil and eden sesi away from him for he was truly one of our chosen servants they both ran to the door and in the struggle she tore his shirt at the back they found her husband at the door she cried shall not the man who wished to violate your wife be thrown into prison or sternly punished yusuf said it was she who sought to seduce me one of her household testified if his shirt is torn at the front then she is speaking the truth and he is lying but if it is torn from behind then she is lying and he speaks the truth so when he saw his shirt torn from behind her husband said this is the guile of you women your guile is great indeed yusuf overlooked this but you ask forgiveness for your sin for you have done wrong women in the town began to gossip the noble man's wife is trying to seduce her slave love for him consumes her heart indeed we see her in manifest error when she heard of their intrigues she sent for them and prepared a party for them she gave a knife to each of them to cut fruits etc and then asked joseph to appear before them when the women saw him they were great greatly amazed at his beauty and they cut their hands exclaiming allah preserve us this is no human being but a noble angel she said this is he about whom you have been blaming me and indeed i did try to make him yield to me but he was unyielding now however if he does not do as i bid him he shall certainly be put in prison and be humiliated yusuf said o oh my lord i would prefer prison to what these women are inviting me to do and if you do not avert their guile from me i may yield to them and so become one of the ignorant so his lord answered him and warded off their guile he is all hearing and all knowing yet even after all the evidence they had seen they thought it right to jail him for a time two young men entered the prison along with him one of them said i saw myself in a dream i was pressing wine the other said 
I dreamt I was carrying bread on my head from which the birds were eating. Tell us their meaning. For we see that you are one who does good to all. Yusuf said to them, I shall inform you of the interpretation of your dreams before your meal is brought to you. This is a part of the knowledge that my Lord has taught me. I have renounced the religion of the people who do not believe in Allah and who deny the hereafter. I follow the religion of my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaqub. And it is not for us to associate anyone with Allah as a partner. This is of Allah's grace upon us and upon mankind, even though most men are not grateful. O oh, my two fellow prisoners, are many diverse lords better? Or Allah, the One, the Almighty? All those you worship instead of Him are mere names you, your forefathers, have invented. Names for which Allah has sent down no authority. All power belongs to Allah alone, and He orders you to worship none but Him. This is the true faith, though most people do not realize it. O oh, my two fellow prisoners, one of you will serve wine to his Lord, the other of you will be crucified, and birds will feed off his head. The matter about which you have been seeking, my opinion has been so decreed. He said to the one he thought would be saved, Mention me to your master. However, Satan made him forget to mention him to his master. And so, Yusuf remained in prison for a number of years. The king said, I saw in a dream seven fed cows, which seven lean ones were eating. Also, seven green ears of corn and seven others which were dry. Tell me the meaning of this vision. My nobles, if you can interpret visions. They said, these are confusing dreams and we do not know the interpretation of such dreams. Then one of the two men who had been released and who after a long time remembered said, I shall tell you its interpretation, therefore give me leave to go to Joseph in prison. O truthful Yusuf, he said, tell us the meaning of a dream in which seven fat cows are e being eaten by seven lean ones, and there are seven green ears of corn, and seven others which are dry, so that I may return to my people and inform them. Yusuf said, You shall sow for seven consecutive years. as usual, but leave in the year the harvest that you reap, except for a little which you may eat. Then there will follow seven years of great hardship. Which will consume all, but a little of what you store. Then a year will come after that when people will have abundant rain and when once more they will press wine and oil. The king said, Bring him to me. When the king's messenger came to Yusuf, he said, Go back to your master and ask him about the women who cut their hands. 
my lord knows well their guile the king asked the woman what was the truth of the affair in which you tried to seduce yusuf the woman said allah forbid we know no evil of him the wife of the nobleman said the truth has now come to light it was i who tried to seduce him he is surely an honest man from this said yusuf the nobleman should now know that i did not betray him in his absence and that allah does not guide the plotting of the treacherous I am not trying to absolve myself from man's very soul inside him to evil unless my lord bestows his mercy indeed my lord is forgiving and merciful The king said bring him to me i will take him for my special service and when he had spoken to him he said from now on you will dwell with us honored and trusted yusuf said place in my charge the storehouses of the land for i am a good a knowledgeable custodian thus we caused joseph to be established in a position of authority in the land he could dwell there in wherever he pleased we bestow our mercy on whom ever we please and we do not allow the reward of the righteous to go to waste yet the reward of the hereafter is best for those who believe and are mindful of allah joseph's brothers arrived and presented themselves before him he recognized them but they did not know him when he had made provision for them he told them bring me your brother on your father's side do you not see that i give you full measure and that i am the best of hosts but if you do not bring him to me you shall have no grain from me nor shall you ever approach me again they replied we shall try to persuade his father to send him with us we shall do our utmost yusuf said to his servants put their money back into their saddle bags so that they will recognize it when they return home to their family thus they may come back when they returned to their father they said our father any further measure of grain has been denied us so send our brother benjamin along with us so that we may obtain our measure of grain and we shall guard him well he replied am i to trust you with him as i once trusted you with his brother but allah is the best of guardians the most merciful of all when they opened their packs they discovered that their money had been returned to them they said our father what more do we desire than this 
this money of ours has been returned to us so we shall again buy food for our family and we shall guard our brother and we shall obtain an additional camel load of grain this that we bring now is a small quantity he yakub said i will never send him with you until you give me a solemn pledge before allah that you will indeed bring him back to me unless you yourselves are trapped in a compulsive situation and when they had given him their solemn pledge yakub said allah shall be witness to all that we say o oh my sons Do not all of you enter the city by one gate enter by separate gates I cannot help you in any way against Allah judgment is his alone in him I have put my trust in him let the faithful put their trust they entered safely as their father had told them however he had no power to guard them against Allah's decree it was only a wish in yakub's soul when which he had thus fulfilled he was possessed of knowledge which we had given him but most people have no knowledge when they presented themselves before yusuf he took his brother benjamin aside he said I am your brother so do not feel distressed about whatever they have been doing and when he had given them their provisions he placed a drinking cup in his brother's pack then a crier called out after them man of the caravan you have committed theft they said turning towards him what is it that you have lost we miss the royal measuring bowl he replied he who brings it shall have a camel load of corn i pledge my word for it they said by allah you ought to know we have not come here to cause any trouble in the land we are not thieves the egyptian asked them and if we find that you are lying what penalty shall be made out to you they replied the penalty should be that he in whose saddle bag it is found should be held as bondman to atone for the crime that is how we punish the wrong doers he the herald searched their backs before his brothers and then took out the cup from his brother's bag in this way we devised a plan on behalf of yusuf he could not have detained his brother under the king's law unless allah so willed we exalt whoever we please but above those who have knowledge there is one all knowing they said if he is a thief a brother of his had also committed theft before him but yusuf kept his secret and revealed nothing to them he said to himself your deed was worse allah best knows the things you speak of they said o exalted one he has a very aged father take one of us in his place 
We can see that you are a very good man. He replied, Allah forbid that we should take anyone other than the person on whom we found our property. In that case, we would clearly be wrongdoers. When they had lost all hope of persuading him, they withdrew conferring among themselves. The eldest said, Do you not know that your father took from you a pledge in Allah's name? You have already failed with regard to Yusuf. So I shall never leave the land until my father permits me to. Or Allah decides things for me. He is the best judge. Return to your father and say, Father, your son has committed a theft. We testify only to what we know. How could we guard against the unforeseen? Inquire of the people of the city where we lost and out of the caravan and of the caravan with which we traveled. We are telling you the truth. Yaqub said, no, but you have yourself contrived a story, but it is best to be patient. Allah may well bring them all back to me in the end, for he is indeed full of knowledge and wisdom. And he turned away from them crying. Allah asked for Yusuf. His eyes went white with grief. And he was filled with sorrow. They said, By Allah, will you keep on remembering Yusuf until your health is ruined and you die? He said, I only complain of my anguish and my sorrow to Allah. Allah has made known to me things that you do not know. Go, my sons, and seek news of Yusuf and his brother. Do not despair of Allah's mercy. None but those who deny the truth, despair of Allah's mercy. When his brothers presented themselves before Yusuf, they pleaded, Exalted one, distress has afflicted us, and our family and we have brought only a paltry sum. But give us full measure. Be charitable to us. Truly, Allah rewards the charitable. He said, Are you aware of what you did to Yusuf and his brother in ignorance? They exclaimed, Are you indeed Yusuf? He replied, I am Yusuf, and this is my brother. Allah has indeed been gracious to us. The truth is that Allah does not waste the reward of those who do good, who are righteous and steadfast. The brother said, By Allah, most certainly Allah has raised you high above us, and we have indeed been guilty. He said, no blame, sh blame shall fall on you this day. May Allah forgive you. And he is the most merciful of those who show mercy. <coughs> Go with this shirt of mine and cast it upon my father's face. He will recover his sight. 
देर अपॉन कम बैक टू मी विथ ऑल योर फैमिली वेन द कैरावेन सेट आउट फ्रॉम इजिप्ट देयर फादर इन कनान सेड यू मे थिंक आई एम सी नाइल बट आई सडनली परसीव द ब्रेथ ऑफ यूसुफ दे सेड बाई अल्लाह यू स्टिल परसीड इन योर डिलूजन्स इलूजन्स But when the bearer of the good news arrived and cast the shirt on Yaqub's face his eyesight returned and he said Did I not tell you that I know from Allah what you do not know they said O oh, our father ask forgiveness for our sins we were truly in the wrong He said I shall certainly ask my lord to forgive you surely he is the most forgiving and merciful then when they presented themselves before yusuf he drew his parents to him and said welcome to egypt in safety if allah wills he helped his parents to a couch and they all fell down on their knees before him he said my father this is the interpretation of my dreams my lord has made it come true He was kind to me when he let me out of prison and brought you from the desert after shaitan had brought about discord between me and my brethren My Lord is the best planner in achieving what he will. He is all knowing and truly wise. Then Yusuf prayed, "My Lord, you have given me power and taught me the interpretation of dreams. Creator of the heavens and the earth, you are my patron in this world and the hereafter. Make me die in submission to you and admit me among the righteous." these are tidings of the unseen that we reveal to you o prophet though you were not present with them when they plotted and agreed upon a plan yet most men will not become believers no matter how eager you may be you shall not ask them for any reward for this it is but a reminder for all mankind and there are many signs in the heavens and the earth that they pass by and give no heed to and most of them even when they profess belief in allah attribute partners to him do they feel secure that the all encompassing punishment of allah will not come upon them or that the last hour will not come upon them suddenly when they least expect it say this is my way on the basis of sure knowledge i call on you to have faith in allah i am those who follow me allah is holy i am not one of those who associate partners with allah 
all the messengers we sent before you muhammad were human beings to whom we made revelations they were men chosen from the people of their towns did they not travel across the earth and see the end of those before them those who are mindful of allah prefer the life to come will you not then understand when the messengers lost all hopes and thought they had been told lies our help came to them we saved whoever we pleased but our punishment will not be averted from the guilty in their stories there is a lesson for men of understanding this quran is no invented tale but a confirmation of the previous scripture and a detailed explanation of all things as well as guidance and mercy to true believers end of surah yusuf verse 111